Hello friends, this video on linear equation in two variables part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more example. You know that, in fact, you will study all these things in physics. That's what I was telling that this chapter has application in physics as well. So we know that force applied on the body, so this guy is applying a force on the body. On the body and this is the body, let's suppose. Of some mass. The force is directly proportional to the acceleration of the body. So this body will accelerate. Right? So the force is directly proportional to acceleration. Okay? Write the equation to express this situation and plot in the graph. So the equation will be if my force is y and acceleration is x, and since it is proportional, I can say that some constant into acceleration. Right? So I can write this equation as y is equal to k into x. Where k is any constant. But to plot this graph, to plot this line in the graph, I had to have some value of constant. And let's assume the constant is 5. I can assume any value. I can assume k to be 3, k to be 4. So if I assume k is equal to 5, my equation is y is equal to 5x. Because to draw the graph I need the actual equation right so I can't draw a graph with the constant so y is equal to 5x is the equation I have so let's uh, get some point here so if x is equal to 0 y is what y is also 0 that is one point let's take another point let's take x is equal to 1 so if you put x is equal to 1 y is what 5 into 1 that is y so I have two points Right, so x is equal to 0, y is 0, x is equal to 1, y is 5, so two points I have. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 is this point, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5 is this point. So I have these two points and joining these two points actually I can draw the graph. This has to be a straight line, but it is not here, I can understand. Any point on these line is the solution. For example, if you want to find uh, x is equal to, let's suppose, minus 1, what is the value of y? So let's say x is equal to minus 1 and you draw a line like this and you see which is here. And this is minus 1, comma minus 5. So x is equal to minus 1, y has to be minus 5. And we can actually cross check that. y is equal to 5 into minus 1, that is minus 5. Okay, so if you see this is the graph, y is equal to 5x, this is the kind of graph you get and you can as well draw graph for y is equal to 3x, 2x because the value of constant is not given. Okay, so if you see this is the physics question and this was solved using equations, linear equation in two variables. Let's take a similar question, give the two equation of lines passing through 2 comma 14. So many equation I can have. If I say x plus y, just x plus y form, this is 2, this is 14, this comes out to be 16. So one equation will be x plus 2y is equal to 16. If I write equation in the form of 2x plus y, if I put x equal to 2 and this is 14, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 plus 14 is 18. This is another equation. If I say let's suppose 3x plus y, let's put the value 2 and 14. 3 into 2 is 6, 6 plus 14 is 20. This is another equation. If I say x minus y, if I put 2 here, this is 14 here, 2 minus 14 is minus 12. This is another equation. So I can have so many equations. Just write any absolute value, 3x plus 5y or something, any, any value, value, put the value, put any abrupt x and y algebraic expression, put the value of x and y which is given, this is 2 and this is 14. Solve it, this is 14 into 5 is 70, 70 plus 6, 76. So this is the equation. You can have infinite number of equations. Since they are infinite number of equations, they are infinite number of lines that will pass through a point. And that is true. If you have a point, you will have infinite number of lines passing through that point. Okay. The question says that if 0.3,4 lies on the graph of this equation, find the value of A. So there is an equation, this is the graph and there is some line. 
and this equation line of the line is 3y is equal to ax plus 7 and it says that 3 comma 4 is actually get a little bit x equal to 3 by 4 let's make this point so 3 comma 4 is actually solution to this line 3 comma 4 lies on this graph right so 3 comma 4 lies on the graph of this equation that means 3 comma 4 is solution for linear equation this correct so the statement is the point 3 comma 4 lies in the graph of the equation some equation that means 3 comma 4 is the solution for this equation so let's put the value of 3 comma 4 in this equation 3 y is 4 is equal to a x is 3 plus 7 so let's solve 12 is equal to 3a plus 7 or 3a is equal to 12 minus 7 or a is equal to 12 minus 7 is 5, 5 by 3 and that is my answer. Pretty easy. So if a point lies on the graph of an equation that means that point is the solution for the equation. That is something you should know. Let's take one more application. If the work done by a body on an application of the constant force is directly proportional to the distance traveled. So this guy is applying some force and the work done is directly proportional to distance traveled. So let's suppose it traveled from here to here. This is the distance traveled to distance. Express this in the form of the equation in two variables. So let's assume work done is y and distance traveled is x. Okay, and there's a constant. So you can say that y is equal to some constant into x. So this will be the equation. And this is the equation of two variables if you see. Okay, constant force is given 5 units. So k is 5 that is given. So y is equal to 5x. Please note in the earlier example, the constant value was not given. So we have assumed it to be 5. We could have assumed any value. But in this case, the constant value is given. That is 5 units. Okay, because the actual formula in physics, if you learn, is work is equal to force into distance. Okay, this is the actual formula. So this is value is given. This is variable, this is variable in this case. So y is equal to 5x is the graph you get. And we have to plot this. Okay, so y is equal to 5x is something we should have plotted. So let's first plot two points. So y is equal to 5x, let's take x is equal to 0. If you take x is equal to 0, y becomes 0. That is one point. We take x equal to 1, we take x equal to 1, y becomes 5 into 1, that is 5. That is another point. So we have two points, we can plot x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 is one point, x is equal to 1, y is equal to 5 is another point. Point is here. So with this, actually, you can draw a line. Okay, this is the graph you have. And this is the graph corresponds to y is equal to. Now the question is, what is the work done when distance uh, by the body when the distance travel is two units? So if we expand this actually for two units, I mean I don't have the space, but actually you can form, form this equation. Y is equal to 5x, x is equal to 2, so you get 10. So the work done is 10 units. The next is 0 units. For 0 unit, you can actually see the graph. This point is 0, 0. For x is equal to 0, y is 0. So you can directly say the work done is 0 units. Or you can actually form the from the equation y is equal to 5x, put x is equal to 0, 5 into 0 is equal to 0. You can see that work done is 0 unit. You can actually calculate or just by the graph, looking at the graph, you can see. So in this case, also if we had the graph, if we extend this actually somewhere, so you see that for point 2, it will it will hit this point, and this point will actually be 2 comma 0. You can try that. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.